Hey guys, what's up? Zach here. Welcome back to the next episode of Motorsport Manager, and we're back with Brazil. And this is the penultimate race of the season, so a lot of pressure to actually get a, a good result here because we are currently in sixth place, but we need to sort of consolidate that because look at the standings. I mean, okay, we can't do that right now, but there's a bit of a challenge from behind. We need to make sure we don't do anything too silly. So, um. Let's have a quick look here. So downforce, we want to take a little bit off. We want to make handling understeery. And we want a lot of top end speed. So we'll go like that. We're going to go with the... Hmm, I don't know how many laps this race is. I wish it told you a little bit earlier, like somewhere else, what sort of lap uh, times and how many laps you're supposed to be doing. Just so you have a general idea. But, of course, there's a reason. So... Like so, and top end speed like that. So, good stuff. And let's get to this race. No, let's do practice first. <laughs> what am I on about? So, let's send them out. Race trim, decent amount of laps, and like so. Send VL out pretty much straight behind with the same stuff. We want to make sure that we get the Ultra Softs to at least level 2 for this race. I mean,. I'm feeling it's the tyre to go with. Double stop on ultras, or sorry, single stop on ultras, double stint is probably where I'm at. That's where I'm thinking this race will go. But, of course, normally wrong, so we'll see how it all plans out. But that'll be generally uh, a good strategy, I think, because these ultra softs are a lot quicker than the, any other sort of tyres. There's, I think, a bigger gap between the ultras and the softs than any other, super softs, I should say, than any other tyre. But, good stuff. Gear races are just right. Okay, they're both happy with their gears, which are good. It's a short lap, this one. It's going to be like 1 minute 10. 1 minute 11 from Machina. That'll only improve over time. And we haven't even got our drivers pushing, so let's see what we can do. We'll go pushing until it goes on to about lap you know, 5 minutes to go. And then we'll um, then we'll back off in terms of that. And we'll bring them into the pits, get their setup fixed. 7th place there for VL 1 minute 10 for John Stadier I wonder who will be the first person to get into the 109's if anyone Surikov's green in the first sector and VL is purple in the first two he could be the first one to go in to the 109's but he's got slightly held up there but he's done it he's into the 109's with a 109.8 really good lap time there from VL I think that shows how good oh but then John Stadier has gone and pipped him by 44 hundredths of a second. Don't think he's going to be doing anything on this lap, so we'll bring him in. But good stuff from VL. That was a really good lap time, and to be that close is good. And considering that, that wasn't exactly great by the look of it in terms of the setup. So that's a good good job so far with that in terms of pace cons in comparison to the setup. So that's good. Race trim, six laps. You can go on a new set of ultras. Let's go. Excellent speed balance and others are only good. Okay, ninety percent though. Okay, so we're not that far off. Take a little bit off, a little bit less understeering, like so. Six laps and a new set of ultra set of soft tires. See, seven to nine laps. I don't know that's going to be enough laps in this race. We'll see. I mean, why do we get level three here? That'd be interesting whether we can get level 3. I really want to take that back off John's today, so I'm going to make my drivers just push like crazy. They've got enough fuel to do so. They've got the tyres to do so. They haven't really got the, the gap on the track, actually. I've put them out a bit close to each other, and I think Vial's right up behind someone. But Vial finally showing to me why I signed him, because these last two races have been good, but those first two races made me quite sceptical. Right, Surikov starting his new lap. I think he's going to get slightly bogged up behind traffic. Vial's a bit down, three temps down as well in the first sector. Second sector... Okay, so he lost quite a bit on that lap. See, they're only sitting... They're in the 110s as well, so they've slightly dropped off their pace as well as in this last couple of uh, last couple of laps. We're stuck up behind one of the uh, Vinzatar... Vinz... Vinzdakar, sorry. Was it Vinza? I don't know. There anyway, we got one more lap. Actually, no, we've probably got two more laps with these, and we've maxed out level three, which is good. I suppose it is very dependent on la uh, track by the look of it about whether you can actually get level 3. Surikov looks like he's going to bring on P4, which is not too bad for practice. Pretty happy with that, to be perfectly honest. But we know practice doesn't really mean anything, but 
Now, anyway, Vial might get one last lap time in here, but it looks like he's going to be stuck up behind traffic. He's going to have there's this cruise just in front of him here, so yeah, he's going to be in a slow lap time as well. But to finish P2, possibly by the look of it, isn't too shabby whatsoever. Machina has just gone green in the middle sector, though, could mean that they get past us. We'll see up to the start finish line. Machina actually goes up to third, gets into the 109s, but not too shabby. P2 and P5, that's not too bad whatsoever. Yep, apparently some fan was happy that we sent them a bag of goodies from the team. Okay then. Right, good, there we go. What? Does it want to be even more under steery then? Is that the idea? Let's see. We've not made this any better. So they want more downfalls, okay. try that. Fingers crossed that's better. All right, we'll simulate qualifying as we always do. There should be enough time for two runs. It's such a short session, but maybe they might be able to get two runs in. Going to have to with that sort of pace. Have they gone back out? Yeah, they have. Are they going to be in traffic? Not good enough, guys. Not good enough. P9 and P10 not getting our sponsor objective, which is a big, big loss. We need that money quite far off as well actually big gap seven tenths of a second to Vidal in eighth that's not very good whatsoever right Red De Niro it looks like a bit of rain falling here is it going to be wet weather start it looks like it is intermediates is what they're saying uh, let's go with that I'll probably get onto the ultra softs at some point and we don't have refueling in this do we so okay great it's all around which is much better and let's push them off the start here and fingers crossed that they can get to the result. Right, let's get ready to rumble. One person, De Graff, is starting on soft. Has he played it smart one here, or is he, is he absolutely failed? We'll see. See how much time he loses. Because by the look of it, it's going to go dry by possibly like lap. It looks like maybe like lap four or five, it could go dry, but it's a big ask to see those soft tyres make it all that way and not lose a substantial amount of time. I mean, if it's only inters for a little bit of time here, we might as well just push them. I mean, Sura comes up to P6. He's done a really good job there in these first couple of corners. Yeah, it looks like it's going to get dry quite quickly. So that four or five. It's only a 12 lap race as well. So we should be pretty good to just go into Ultra Softs for the rest of the race. I think De Graff is going to lose so much time that it's just not worth it. He's, he's falling off. He's like two seconds behind the car in front now. He's lost so much time. Yellow flag. Carl has crashed. Okay, at least the grass ahead of someone. So we're sort of best of the rest right now. We know the best three teams on the grid are McLaren, Ferrari, and Mercedes. But Surikov slotting in there nicely in P4. Of you know, P4 in the constructors' terms. What am I talking about? I don't know. He's right up behind Flores, though. So that four, possibly? I mean, he's trying, but he's just lost so much time, De Graff. It was probably, maybe it was worth the risk for him, but it's just, yeah. I mean, he's losing so much time. I mean, if it went right now, he'd only just maybe be ahead of Surikov, but he's just losing so much time by the end of the lap. He's probably getting lost another ten seconds to us, so... That's the start-finish line for Yal. It's going to be... P11, which is good. Surikov and P7. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, Vial. As he's dropped the position there. That's P12. They could even lap him. That's crazy. They could even lap him. Should we just split it? Should we go one dry this lap? I mean, it could even be too, too late on the next lap. Nine laps. It's pretty much good, isn't it? Ultra soft to the end of Vial. Oh, people aren't picking this lap, but I'm going to try and do something different here with Vial, and maybe I will have jumped them a bit early. I know one person else is Hashimoto, or side by side with someone as well. Definitely this lap. Doesn't look like it's going to rain again. I 
thing is we just can't push too much with the ultras off, that's the problem. It always looks like trying to go a lap longer is better. So I don't know who else around me is going to pit. Oh, let's stay hang out. Is there going to be more rain on the horizon? Who knows? Could I think they're staying out a lap too late, to be perfectly honest. Right, they're double stacking one of the cars behind me. I think that was the Rosetta Courses, and we've come out. I think we've made it. Ooh, okay, interesting. We're the, uh, we're the first person on track on dry tyres now. And we're, we're gaining substantially, but I think it's going to be two, because we're so far behind them. I mean, unless some of them are going to double stack, actually. We might get one of the McLarens, because they're going to double stack. Yes, we're just going to get... Oh, no, we got both McLarens. What happened there in the pit stops? I don't know. That's that's quite crazy, actually. I didn't expect that. Okay, good stuff. Into P5 and Vial. It sort of worked. Into P10. But Hashimoto on those softs and Skovdal on those softs looked like they maybe put the better strategy out there. Oh, but Fox has gone through now. Ah, it's a bit gutting. That's a little bit gutting. But I suppose I kind of expected it. P6, not too bad. Just need to make it to make sure we get to the end of the race, really. We know that these Ultrasofts would sort of dig out about 20 to 25%. So we just need to make sure we, we do about right. And Vial's up to P8. He's doing a good job there. P6 is good because that is where our sponsor objective is, and we need that money. We do really need that money. So across the line, good stuff. He's setting good pace here. No surprise rain, no. The grip levels are just going up and up and up, which is good. So I think we pretty much did the best strategy we could there. I just think our car just isn't good enough. To be in P6 is good and good enough for us right now for Team Panther Racing. Just going to quickly alt tab right now. Yeah, just making sure it was recording, but it, luckily it was. My camera's gone really, really... I just realised. Uh, it's quite bad when I lean back. It's because of the sunlight right there. Maybe I need to block that off. Otherwise, you can't see my face whatsoever. There we go. Let's go back to the game. Um, okay, so we need to save some fuel here with Vial. He's done a good job. He's only four... Ten, he might actually get past Vidal. So he might be on for P6 and P7 here. And is Surikov coming back at Fox? He certainly wasn't that last lap. He got six tenths of a second. And v, Vial was a lot faster than Vidal on that last lap. But now we've had to back off with the fuel. Are we going to get to get past? That's the thing. Two laps to go. It's a close battle here for the lead of this race. Nubia for Machina. I don't know who's... I don't know if I really haven't been focusing on the championship battle. P6 is good, though. And we're right up behind... Are we going to be close enough to get Fox here? Are we going to be able to go for a bit of a push? Possibly. A couple of laps to go. Might as well just risk it to see a little bit here. P5 will be nice. A couple of extra points. We need those... Oh, okay. So it's going to suddenly start raining. Is anyone going to put on Inters for one lap? I doubt it. Okay, so that, that's all pushed us... I mean, Fox has gone for a really good lap. They're 110, and we've gone two seconds slow on that last lap. Okay, I think maybe, yeah, re oh no, not pushing. Okay, that's really strange. Maybe we thought that I was pushing, so they they would push ahead, but no, that's not the case. Right, half a lap to go. Looks like we're going to be on course. Let's actually go and have a look at Vial. I'm going to try and make him get past. In a straight line, are we going to be able to do it? Just push like crazy, straight line speed, don't think we're going to do it. Might even hit the cliff on the straight line. P6, P8, pretty happy with that. Uh, actually, I'm really happy with that. That's a really good result there. Surikov, I think. I don't know what's happening with Surikov there. After the finish line, is going really slowly. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's going to be a decent amount of points. It's probably going to be a little bit too late to actually catch up to, to Team Dragon. But P6, that's going to be 8 points plus... Yeah, so that's 12 points. Okay, so that's nearly half the gap. It was 25 points at the start of this race. I mean, if we have a really good last race and they don't score any points in the last one, we could actually still beat Dragon, which would be really, really funny because, let's be honest, they humiliated us by signing, uh, sorry, sacking us. And it'd be funny if we can actually get one back over on them there. Um, I'll go to Machina. Devoted two places. I mean, what's the standings look like? Okay, so Machina's actually champion after all that. Nubia couldn't quite do enough. John Stadier... Very far behind a third. We're up to P9, ahead of De Graff once again by two points. And Vial's in 13th. It's probably not going to be catching Sylvander. I think it's mathematically pretty much impossible unless he wins the last race. Alright, that's good. Happy with that. One race to go here, guys. 13 points. I said nearly half that gap. But I think it's going to be a little bit too late, unfortunately. Steinman pretty much wrapped up the constructors. I think actually they have wrapped up the constructors. 
I can't remember. Are there double points in the last race of the season? I doubt it, but it's uh, Dubai, isn't it? Last race of the season, so we'll uh, we'll see how that all plays out. So that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you all soon for more of this motorsport magic mode. It's getting exciting again. Goodbye.